The town of Renfrew, Ontario, Canada, is fortunate to have three flourishing business districts. The county of Renfrew's Highway 60, formerly the Trans-Canada Highway 17, runs directly through all three districts. In 1977, the new Trans-Canada Highway 17 bypass lessened the traffic on Highway 60, creating greater challenges for small business. But the new business improvement area members rose to the challenge. Today, the volume of traffic on Highway 60 is greater than it was in 1977, and a recent announcement by the Ontario government promises to bring four lanes to Renfrew by 2029. The O'Brien Commercial District offers a diverse array of big name stores and a hotel. Along with professional offices and healthcare services, this district offers a park and ride at the Information Centre. The neighbouring industrial park brings employment to many. Healthcare, home care, retirement and nursing facilities complement the West End Stewart Street Commercial District. A motel, restaurant, gas bar, laundry and convenience store, Tim Hortons and Wendy's are just a few of the almost 60 businesses in this commercial district. Did I mention the family-friendly barbershop? Thanks to the O'Brien family's generosity, Renfrew became known as the home of the National Hockey Association. Although the Renfrew millionaires were never afforded an opportunity to challenge for the Stanley Cup, in 1910, at St. Nicholas Arena in New York City, they beat the team who had just won the Stanley Cup. Not the Creamery Kings at that time, they were the Eurekas, okay? Eventually, they became known as the Creamery Kings, and when we take a look over here, we're looking at the time frame of 1910, and that's the time frame that this hat suggests was so important to Renfrew as being the birthplace of the NHL. It is not unusual to see hockey enthusiasts and dignitaries enjoying a game of road hockey in downtown Renfrew. The late Senator M.J. O'Brien believed that people should have employment, recreation, and entertainment for a balanced life, and Renfrew offers all of this. The downtown Renfrew BIA is about independent business ownership, giving great service to the public, and valued employment opportunities. Consumers are grateful for the over 150 shops and services that downtown Renfrew has to offer. Everything we need is at our fingertips, and most of it within walking distance of our homes. For many decades, business improvement area members have enjoyed a board of directors who volunteer their time and business expertise. The Corporation of the Town of Renfrew works with the board, which was formed for beautification, promotion, and special events. This group gives their time talent and financial investment to keep long-time businesses successful while mentoring new entrepreneurs. It was the need for a two-year $10.2 million infrastructure upgrade that brought together a team that consisted of the Renfrew Development and Works Department, Bonisher Excavating Inc., Renfrew Town Council, and BIA members. They created one of the most beautiful and vibrant downtown business districts in Canada. Many businesses took advantage of the newly implemented Community Improvement Fund to polish their facades. Residents and visitors shared their heartfelt appreciation freely, and once again, downtown Renfrew became the pride and joy of the business community. The construction project, which included Raglan Street South and connecting side streets, began with public meetings at Town Hall. Council members, business owners, their staff and clients listened to engineers and town planners explain how the project would unfold. Local churches and the Renfrew Curling Club offered up their parking lots to business owners, staff and shoppers during the construction. Instead of removing and replacing all of the pipes, some were relined to reduce costs and shorten the project time frame. Midway through construction, 
the BIA board and members cooked up a lunchtime barbecue to show their appreciation for those who worked tirelessly through all the daylight hours and sometimes into dark. They kept traffic flowing as they reconstructed vital infrastructure in the downtown core. They even planned a touch a truck event and future potential construction workers were excited to sit at the wheel of the big shiny trucks. Business continued to grow as the beautiful landscaping was completed. Valley Bites moved up the street, making room for Esso, complete with a car wash and convenience store. Rob Thompson Hotels purchased the post office building and will create a boutique hotel on the top two floors. Canada Post continues to serve at this location and at Eakin Heads Farm of Choice. A few empty buildings have found new owners with plans to add retail stores and more fine dining. There are still spaces to rent, a few buildings for sale, and new business investors are always welcome. One of the most beneficial changes for everyone was the unique way that many stores were able to become accessible by having engineers and construction crews change the grade of the sidewalks. The accessible curbs offer corner safety guards and new bump outs with solar powered flashing lights at crosswalks help to get shoppers safely across the busy street. Low Square was redesigned to allow for greater accessibility and larger gatherings. People come from four counties to enjoy our shops and services, but they are also here for the Renfrew Victoria Hospital tree lighting, nativity scene and Remembrance Day services. The municipally supported craft beer and food truck festival grows in attendance each year. In addition to receiving funding from all levels of government, the BIA members borrowed $150,000 from the town of Renfrew with a 15-year payback. This helped to fund the new multicolored banners, upgraded benches, new waste and recycle containers, feathered grasses, trees, and colorful hanging baskets, which bring numerous compliments. When the local Lions Club could no longer present the annual Santa Claus Parade, the BIA stepped in and created a magical night for Santa and his friends. The downtown Renfrew BIA remains number one in the hearts of those who live, work, shop, and play in all three of Renfrew's commercial districts. Have you ever been to Renfrew? Come join us now and celebrate all